anything you can make it on hemp protein. Yeah. It depends because you know they like to put extra stuff in it. Yeah, facts. Yeah, I look at it so much. Sea oil, put a little season on it. It's come out looking like butter. And remember, we're just eating minerals right here. So we get some coals right here, also good for parasites. Parasites, bad bacteria. It keeps the inflammation at bay. A lot of people are suffer from what you would call acidosis. And that's when your body is pretty much inflamed with acids. And also inflammation. So what we try to do is incorporate these beautiful minerals and we're eating up the fruit. This butternut squash is a fruit. The zucchini is a fruit. The eggplant is a fruit. The purple cabbage is a fruit. We just wanna make sure we season up really good. Of course, we can't forget about the thyme. Thyme is really good for women too. And if we put the thyme and rosemary together, very, very good for the nervous system, for inflammation. Thyme does everything. Parasites, yeast, fungus, mold, candida. Then a little bit of mother nature up in here. A little time consuming, a lot of people might say, but this is going back to Mother Nature. This is what our ancestors did. This is what we got to get into, just digging from the earth. We got some sage too. A lot of people burn sage, but we actually put it in the food because this is good for inflammation. It's good for your nervous system. It's good for your gut. And we know that every disease starts in the gut, you know, um, and we try to heal through the lymphatic system, which is basically the septic tank of your body. When you heal through the lymphatic system, that's when you get your life back. Some people call it the immune system, but inside the lymphatic system, you got T cells, B cells, and you got the mucosa membrane. So that's what we're trying to focus on. We're trying to clean the skin, flush the lymphatic system, get the mucosa membrane clean, and then we're gonna get the kidneys to filter. And all this is good for kidney filtration. It's full of vitamins, which means vital minerals. So everything you're pretty much putting on is some type of benefit. Everything is benefits. Word. We ain't even done yet. Facts. This butternut squash, y'all. He cooking it up right now. Mm -hmm. What is this? This would be... This would be cilantro. Okay, This word. is good for heavy metal. All right, put some of that on there. Close it back up. We have some rosemary. Really, really good for the DNA. Um, it's good for the nervous system. It's good for inflammation again. It's full of vital minerals. And notice all this stuff comes from trees. We come from a good family lineage, so we gotta give us, uh, our family tree some good vegetables, some good fruits. I said meat tastes so good, why you gotta put herbs on it? Yeah. <laughs> Man, we eating the meat right now. The meat of the, um, you know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. The meat of the butternut squash, the meat of the purple cabbage. We need simple amino acid structures. A lot of people is into protein, but what we need is simple amino acid structures. Because these proteins actually shut down the kidneys that we've been getting into eating. So you gonna pop it in the oven? We got the sweet potatoes. One, one, one last here. ingredient. I'm gonna pick him a last salt. I got, got the sweet potatoes right here too, y'all. Got a whole bunch of stuff, man. He gonna explain pretty much a lot of stuff, but yeah, man, it's all it's good stuff we yeah, got so going. Master herbalist slash chef slash woman wound specialist, mental health counselor, whatever you need, I got you. My goal is to heal our nation, heal our family. I'm tired of seeing us sick in the hospital with all these different type of diseases such as cancer, diabetes, AIDS, glaucoma. It's really simple to heal yourself. Again, all we gotta do Clean the skin, flush the lymphatic system, clean the mucosa membrane, and focus on the kidneys. We gotta clean the blood in ourselves and clean the blood within our family. And once we start doing that, a lot of healing is gonna take place.
So that's gonna take about an hour. Wait for the boil for the sweet potatoes and everything over here is pretty much like self-explanatory. So this is called alfalfa and clover sprout. This is what they feed horses when they malnutrition. Now, a lot of people say, again, where you get your protein from. But this right here is what they feed horses and cows when they're malnutrition. So every time they go on competitions, this is what they're feeding the horses. So if you need that bulk, you definitely want to, and you do your calisthenics, put this in your smoothies, put this in your soups, and more, mainly important, put it in your vegetables. So we just get started. We got the baby Bella, right? We got the baby arugula, full of iron phosphate, iron fluorine, zinc, copper, and gold. And then we got the baby spinach. Make sure you always get the baby spinach, not the big spinach, because it's a hybrid. We also have eggplant, all organic. Everything's organic. So when I'm done making this and y'all see the plate, it's gonna look just like fish. With fish, they put in um, sewage water in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Plus you're dealing with lead and you're dealing with mercury and you're dealing with parasites. Um, a lot of my family members love to fish and half of them get mercury poison. So what happens with this mercury poison is it attacks the nervous system. In your nervous system, you got the pituitary gland, the hypothalamus gland, and the pineal gland. So your, pine your pineal gland produces um, serotonin and melatonin. That's your awakening your sleep patterns. This is the reason why we either sleep too much or we don't sleep at all. We never get the proper amount of rest and rest is the most important part of the day. We need our rest. Your hypothalamus gland is the governor of the 12 endocrine systems and that's the control of your emotions. That's why some people become emotional eaters. The E stands for energy, the motion stands for movement. The movement in our body is the two major fluids, which is our lymphatic fluid and our blood. And then you have something called the pituitary gland that produces zinc, copper, and gold. Every time we feed our body unnatural stuff, you're robbing your body from minerals, right? A lot of people are doing stuff to their bodies um, with the surgeries and all these different types of implants. A lot of people are actually getting really bad side effects, you know? We encourage you just to look in the ingredients on what you're looking at. When you go to the store, you get something, look at all the ingredients. If you, Half of the stuff you can't even pronounce. So you know what? We can pronounce every ingredient <laughs> up here. No <laughs> look cap. Let's say, let's say, Bill Weed. No cap. Let's say, see, it's a Pink Himalaya Sauce, Alfalfa <laughs> Sprout. Hey man, look. For real. Now this Bill Weed is on another level. And I've got to put that, so I got to put some of that on there too. Oh, yeah, I need that. The little yeah. Mickey Mouse joints. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm going to tag, tag him too, man. I'm going to put his stuff in the description box and on the screen for y'all, man. We, he going to keep, you know what I mean, letting y'all know a lot of knowledge, bro. I'm still learning myself too. But yeah, he's going to put all of us on. <laughs> Absolutely. We're also into electromagnetism and agriculture engineering. So uh, me and my brother, uh, my brother definitely, his name is Native A, and um, he actually... Um, creates his own solar panel generator suitcases, power enough to power up a home. So what am I saying? I'm saying free energy. Free energy literally means freedom. So now we're talking about resources, which is something that we really need. Water, electromagnetism, and electricity Electricity is resources. So we have outside, we have, uh, my brother has a shed. In his shed, he has a, a washing machine, dryer, tools. He has um, all of his lights and fans inside of his shed, and it's all powered up for free. So if you're if you're saving money, right? A lot of marriages are ending because of stress and bills and relationships ended because of stress and bills. So imagine if, you know, when a hurricane came to Florida, right? What happens was um, the winds was very bad and the lights went off. So imagine uh, uh, my brother, um, his, his wife said, hey, the light's going off. He went right out to the shed, grabbed the solar panel generator, pulled it in the house. The house is lit up in like, like two minutes. So that's what we can do as fathers for our children. Um, my, my brother also got his children involved into um, how to change like a starter, how to change a pad, how to change a rotor. It's very important that we put it on YouTube because that's called Fatherhood 101. That's also on the YouTube channel, House of Healing LLC. It's right on the YouTube channel. So we got a lot of inspirational things for the children, a lot of inspirational things for the adults. Um, whether if you want to learn the information or you want mentorship classes, I actually teach a lot of this stuff when it comes to biochemistry, neurology, iridology, when it comes to reflexology, and pretty much when it comes to healing. Healing the body spiritually, emotionally, and um, physically, of course. Because every disease starts off spiritually, then it manifests itself physically, and it's all controlled through the nervous system. So when you're depressed, that means you lack calcium triphosphate to regulate the blood and magnesium. And it always boils down to a thyroid issue, mm -hmm. right? The thyroid is a gear shift to your body. This is why we're literally eating things that's robbing our body from calcium, such as almonds. A lot of people love almonds. But when you look deeper into almonds, it's almonds be good called, with almond butter. No, it's full of something called oxalic acid and what oxalic and it's cyanide, right? So cyanide um, is what they use to poison subjects. So um, the almonds rob your body from calcium. Now, some people get roasted cyanide. 
I mean, roasted almonds, which takes away some of the cyanide, but hey, just say, if you do eat them, of course, roast them and eat them in moderation. I won't recommend it, but I'm just telling you what to do if you do eat them. Now, we also have um, um, oatmeal. I'm just talking about the so-called Americanized diet. So oatmeal is full of um, phytic acid, what you call oxalic acid, and this acid robs your body from calcium, zinc, and gold, and magnesium. So, and it wears the lining of your intestines. So what we need to do is look for something called spelt oats, but if you do get a spelt oats, eat it in moderation. Um, um, you got teff, you got quinoa, you got kamut. So kamut and spelt, eat it in moderation. Don't eat it every day. Probably if somebody eat like a bowl of spelt every once, every two weeks. Besides that, we got black rice. I gotta tell y'all something. They are faking rice. They faking watermelon. They faking um, cabbage. They, they faking eggs. You can go right on YouTube, type in uh, fake eggs made in China. It will blow your mind how they're making these eggs. You know what's crazy? My brother, um, he has chickens. And um, when you get a chicken egg and go in the, go in the dark and put a light bulb on it, like, like a flashlight, it should light up. You should see like glowing, it should be glowing. But if you do that to the regular eggs, it don't glow. So that's a good indication to whether you can see if you got a real egg or a fake egg. Again, when you go look at this stuff, half of the stuff is being, it's, it's, we're eating plastic, y'all. So if you want rice, try to do the um, wild black rice. Because remember, when you get white rice, you're eating the same starch that you put on your clothes and iron clothes with it, you're eating starch. That's literally what it is. So all we're trying to do is give a couple healthy alternatives for our people who are out here, whether if you want to get healthier and whether if, you, um, if you're suffering from a so-called dis-ease, what we try to preach is a lifestyle called a frugivore lifestyle. And this consists of 90% fruit and 10% vegetables. You see fruit is full of monosaccharides and pecuitins that raises your ATP in your body. ATP means adenosine triphosphate. You got adenosine diphosphate, adenosine monophosphate. All it means is energy. Me and you both know we got 150 trillion cells in our body. The fruits restore the body. The vegetables rebuild the body. The herbs heal the body. The phytonutrients, which is the melons, they energize the body. So if you're into calisthenics, you're a basketball player, football player, what am I gonna do before workout, you know? This is what you're gonna do before workout. Try to do like a, a, a berry smoothie, right? Because it's gonna give you oxygen in and it's gonna protect your cells. Now, in, in the middle of the workout, see the watermelon juice. You wanna get a phytonutrient because mm -hmm. phytonutrients, it keeps, keeps you energized. So usually I do the seeded watermelon juice, seeded papaya juice. You can do bitter melon, winter melon, global melon. All these melons give you energy. So while we're doing that, now we can add the alfalfa sprout to it. We can add an alfalfa sprout to it that's going to keep the vitamin K and um, calcium in your body. And it's also going to uh, be very good for your DNA, very good for your nervous system. Now, what are we going to do after a workout? Where do you get your so-called protein from? We don't want complex amino acid structures, right? We want something called simple amino acid structures. You get simple amino acid structures, again, from your avocados. Um, you get your iron and your calcium from dandelion greens, arugula, bok choy, alfalfa sprout. Now, Phil, he been, he been juicing. He been cleansing his body. Um, he been doing a lot of juicing, a lot of fruits, right? So now we're gonna do just a, a healthy frugivore meal, and then we're gonna show you exactly how we're gonna do it. Again, people talk a lot about water. When we stay tuned, because we're gonna show you the main important thing is to attack your house. We got so many chemicals in our house and we're breathing it in. This is why people, so many people got allergies, right? Bronchitis, asthma. I ain't gonna name no name brands, but a lot of your plugins is full of aluminum. And when you breathe them in, you're breathing in the aluminum. When you spray these things on your couch, you're breathing in aluminum and it's feeding the fluke worm inside of your body. And you're also weakening the hydrochloric acid in your stomach, which is used to break down food. So as soon as your hydrochloric acid is weakened, the parasite is able to flow past the blood and brain barrier and it to rob you from minerals. So if I'm a parasite that's living inside of you, my goal is to, of course, rob you from minerals. So if I'm robbing you from calcium and magnesium, that's gonna cause depression. Because when you're depressed, it means you lack calcium and magnesium to regulate the blood, and it's gonna boil down to a thyroid issue. Again, the gear shift to your body. So what I mean by earlier that every disease has an emotional component, when it boils down to it, your pancreas produces insulin. Insulin is, is a salt, that's a correlation with your hormones. Hypothalamus, emotions, um, your kidneys, that's the fear. See, when you're in fear, that means you're Kidneys is not filtrating properly because that's where the ancestors pass all the information through that adrenal cone, that adrenaline you get, that's all kidney related, right? Even high blood pressure, stress. Above you got systolic, below you got diastolic, you know, and these ranges should be from 120 to 70. But a lot of people's blood pressure is up and down because of, the, because of stress and because of the things they're eating. 
Right, a long time ago, I used to love, um, before I became a frugivore, before I became a vegan, I used to love going to like, you know, all these name brand restaurants, you know, we, we can call them out. But I remember when I stopped eating the meat, when I stopped um, doing what I used to do back in these restaurants, when I first drove past them and I smelled that aroma, it smelled good. Now that I stopped with the meat, I just smelled death. I mean, I want you to go on YouTube and look up Meat Blue documentary. Meat Blue is called, it's made out of pig's plasma. So let's say you say, I don't eat pork. Pork is not for me. They put pork in your chicken. They put pork glue in your, um, in your fish, your bison, and your lamb. So again, it's called Meat Blue. And it it's made out of pig's plasma. And it makes the blood clot one, and it causes a lot of kidney failure. Remember, your kidneys always have to filtrate. So a good way to uh, know if your kidneys is filtrating properly is to simply when you're juicing and you're eating stuff like this, you want to pee in the cup, let it sit for 24 hours. If you see any white sediment in that cup, that means your kidneys is filtrating properly. You're getting rid of yeast, fungus, mold, candida, and most importantly, parasites. We have to constantly cleanse our blood and cleanse our lymphatic system. When you cleanse the blood, it dumps the toxins off to the lymphatic system and you get rid of them three ways. You get rid of them through your skin when you sweat and your pores. You get rid of them through, um, through your bowel movements and through when you pee, of course. So what's happening is we're blocking our pores. Every time you put that secret with secret chemical, all it does is block stuff. So now you're putting all this aluminum on your arm and now your lymph nodes are getting swollen. So what does Phil use? Key lime, one ingredient, and you can pronounce it. So what I do is I cut a key lime open and we use what you call um, saline cinnamon. Saline cinnamon is for odor. That's why we're using saline cinnamon with, um, with the key lime. You squeeze that under your arm, key lime is an astringent, it's gonna detoxify and pull stuff from the body. And of course the saline is for odor. So every time you do that, I have a client, um, he used key lime for two days. One week, he went to his wife, and after that week was over, he said, smell my armpit, what do you smell? She said, nothing, because the key lime is in the strand it's gonna keep cleaning you out. So what we have to do is look more towards spring water, not purified water, because purified water is treated with chemicals. Even the water you bathe in, when you go to the, uh, if you've ever been to a, um, a people that treated water, it's potassium nitrate in the water you bathe in. Potassium nitrate is what they use on firecrackers. It's potassium hydroxide. That's what they use in the execution and prison systems when they shoot them up the veins. And then you also have sulfuric acid and nitric acid. So the potassium hydroxide and the high calcium lime is what they use on the football fields to make lines with. And that's what they use to raise the pH. The um, sulfuric acid and nitric acid is what they use to, to lower it down. So what is the solution for this? So we won't be bathing the chemicals. What we have to do is look into the Sprite Slimline Shower Filter Head or just get a shower filter, right? So you want to get the Sprite Slimline Shower Filter and you can look towards, you know, maybe the Aqua Shower Filter Head. Now, when you place this on your, on your shower head, the little spigot, it's going to block all the chemicals that I just said. Now you're bathing in the clean water. Because remember, when you're bathing, your hair is an extension of your nervous system. So now you're rubbing all these chemicals in your hair and you're rubbing all over your body. Your skin is your biggest organ on your body. Every time you put something on your skin, it's gonna absorb through your bloodstream and become a part of your DNA. Deoxyase ribose nucleic acid. So what we gotta do is focus on skincare. All these different lotions has a lot of chemicals in it. What does he use? Grape seed oil, one ingredient, right? Full of vitamin K, full of vitamin E. And it's also a shunted, it's gonna clean your blood and pull all the bad stuff out, right? Use it for your face. Like you said, a very little, you don't need a lot because a little bit goes a long way. And our toothpaste, toothbrush, in his previous videos, y'all see he used a Romare toothpaste. It has the green label on the bottom. When you look up toothpaste color code, your toothpaste should have a green label on the bottom or of course you can make it naturally. Bamboo toothbrush, right? What can I use for a mouthwash? This is called oil pulling. Look up the benefits of oil pulling. You can do your oil pulling with grapeseed oil and saline cinnamon. So when you gargle it in your mouth, it's gonna pull all the nasty toxins out. It's gonna clean your whole mouth up. So these are just a few examples that we can do, especially when we're cooking and we're trying to, um, it's not about the quantity of life, it's about the quality of life. I would like to see people not in pain from acidosis, not in pain from all the meat, the fish, the soy, the dairy, the gluten. As I told you before, we need simple amino acid structures and me and Phil are gonna show you exactly how to do it when we're done making this meal. Going. 
Purple cabbage is also good for diabetes too and the pancreas. Balances your hormones, lowers the blood pressure, lowers the blood sugar. I see the melanin in it. That purple cabbage. Really, really good for you. Sweet potatoes are good for your nervous system. We also have wild yam, and that's also good for your nervous system too. And you basically make a tea out of it. It's wild yam. So again, we got dandelion greens, arugula, the buck choy. We got the alfalfa sprout on it. And we just drizzle it with some grapeseed oil, and we're gonna let that cook. And um, the very specialty, this is gonna be the meat. It's called an eggplant. Remember, this is a fruit. Uh, full of vital minerals, full of calcium, full of magnesium, full of um, vitamin A, C, and D. One of the main things I like about eggplant is just a replacement for me. And I know we all looking for a replacement. Some of y'all getting beyond me, some of y'all getting impossible. Again, you're gonna be dealing with soy. So we're trying to stay away from soy, right? We're trying to get more into more natural things. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is cut this part off, cut the purple out, cut it down the middle, and cut it into fish-like pieces. And then it's gonna be simple from down there. We're also using this over here, garbanzo beans um, flour. Um, Gluten-free, non-GMO. So we're gonna use that for what you will call the bread. Supreme rise and peace, love, light, protection to the Phil Crawford family, to the House of Helen family. Today we're going to be talking about skincare, which is extremely important because your skin is your biggest organ of your body. Every time you put something on it, it's going to absorb through your bloodstream, become a part of your DNA. What we have right here is the original modern shampoo filter. 
So all we're gonna do, grab our tools, grab this, click it, it should twist, then it comes out just like that. All right, we got that off. Usually around a lot of shower footage, you see a lot of corrosion. It's not much around here, but a lot of them got a lot of corrosion. And in the link description below, you'll see all the chemicals that's in the water that you're bathing in, such as potassium nitrate, is what they use in firecrackers, potassium hydroxide, that's what they use for um, execution in the prison. And then we also have sulfuric acid and nitric acid. A lot of these chemicals, chemicals is the reason why your skin itch when you got the shower. Right? So the description will be below, you can check that out. So over here, you have the Sprite Sunlight Shower Filter. And then we have the aqua shower filter head. So the main way you're gonna start with first is your Teflon tape. So with this Teflon tape, you don't need a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. You're gonna put it right around the outskirts right here. Don't go too far up, just stay right here with it. And then just wrap it around, just like that. Probably like two or three wraps. Like I said, you don't need a lot. All right, so that is done. Take it off like that. And that's it for that. Now after that, the next step, this is the shower filter. It goes on there like that. And remember, this is gonna protect you from all the chemicals that's coming out of the water. So just an easy twist on. There you go. And then after that, it's just downhill. Also on the description below, it's a bit misconception on boiling water doesn't remove chemicals. So down below, you'll see a description on reason why that's false. Boiling water can only reach like 100 degrees Celsius and 100 Celsius. Um, it cannot remove fluoride, lead, and mercury and chrome. Now, um, you can boil chlorine if you let the water boil for 15 minutes. Chlorine can be boiled out of water. But when it comes to all the other harmful chemicals, you cannot boil it out of water. This is literally done. You're gonna turn it on. And you wanna let it run for a little bit. You also wanna check and make sure there's no water coming out of this. This is why we use this to make sure there's no water coming out. Now he's bathing in clean water. No lead, no mercury, no chrome, and no fluoride. All clean water. Also look into the sodium water filtration uh, to attach to your bottles when you're drink, using drinking water. You also want to drink, um, transfer bottled water to a glass jar. And that's it. Almond mix and one jar for the um, almond. How long do those uh, shower things last? Pretty six, long. Because remember, a little bit goes a long way. So. Oh, okay. We're making black walnut dirt, y'all. Absolutely. You got the black walnut and then some spring water. So they can be your substitute for, you know what I'm saying, cow's milk and y'all. Cow's milk, milk, almond milk, cashew milk. This is a great substitute because it's good for bad bacteria, viral loads, and parasites. So we get rid of them parasites out of there. It's going to be olive leaf, eye bright, and ginkgo leaf. And we use one fourth tablespoon to measure each one to put inside the um, blender. <laughs> Telling you right now, all the asthma, the bronchitis, the upper respiratory illnesses, that, that red top milk and that blue top milk is getting us. Milk is really good for the children as well. After seven months, um, your seven month year old baby can um, drink hemp seed milk. After seven months though. The hemp seed milk is good, it's full of phytonutrients, good for inflammation, it's good for the nervous system, it's full of omega-3. Make the black walnut milk before the catastatic workout. Then during the workout, we're gonna drink cucumber juice. We're gonna put some ingredients in it like ashwagandha, kelp, dose. And the beautiful thing about uh, kelp and dose is way more powerful than sea moss. Yes, I said it. Kelp and dose is way more powerful than sea moss because you have nori, you got kelp, you got dose, you got club moss, and of course you got purple sea moss and contrast crispus. Just be very careful when you're getting golden sea moss. They fake it a lot, so just try to get the ones we recommend. Here go, y'all.
That's a consistency. Now we're going to make, um, also make sure y'all throw some Ceylon cinnamon up in there too. Add a little bit of Ceylon cinnamon. Okay, that's enough right there. Couple spoons, boom, put it on that. Pour this back in here. You know that these black walnuts, we refrigerate them and last us for a year in the refrigerator along with the hemp seed. So you see it only take a little bit to make the milk. So imagine how much milk you can make with this, plus all the benefits that comes with it. Again, this frugal bar lifestyle is where it's at, bro. You gotta get to it. Now the urge be extra strong and they come in a zip People say we taking long but we ain't rushing with Put the plans in God's hands and he gon' bless us with riches I ain't tripping over because I'm watching my step Putting money on the phone, could dab and call and collect All on respect, I can't lie, I'm just here for a check Just to build my family out and to buy your family house A lot of people only talking, put your money where your mouth is some memories don't fade, sometimes you miss the old days But nothing changed, less you change What's around you, how you think, how you live, how you speak How you walk, how you blink, how you talk, how you teach, how you reach Let it sink What's your purpose, what's your passion, did it pain, what's your plan Is it play, on a play, how to play, I'm just playing What's your purpose, what's your passion, did it pain, what's your plan Is it play, on a play, how to play, I'm just playing <laughs> 